I'm growing 11 varieties of tomatoes this year and I've been growing the seedlings under grow lights. However, tomatoes are fast growers and sometimes they do get leggy. But there's no need to worry because tomatoes are the most forgiving plant. I over sowed this tray and the yellow leaves on tomato seedlings mean that they are stressed and are competing with each other for nutrients. It's definitely time to up pot them and I will show you how to separate these seedlings with ease. When I'm up potting my seedlings, I always use the ProMix Premium All Purpose Mix. It's derived from peat moss, it's nice and fluffy, and all of the vegetables grow wonderfully because it promotes vigorous root growth with the added beneficial mycorrhizal fungi. I always pre-moisten the mix and never water in my seedlings. I found that they respond better and don't suffer from transplant shock. I found this fertilizer at Menards. It's all organic, made with chicken poo. I'm using the plant starter first for my young seedlings because the fertilizer ratio is weaker than for established plants. You can even make compost tea with this. I'm putting two handfuls of the fertilizer in this amount of potting mix and I mix it in well. If you have dogs or cats, please be aware that they can't resist eating this. So make sure you water it in or fence your plants off. I'm using 18 ounce solo cups to transplant all of my tomato seedlings. I like that they have a square base and are more stable. Make sure to add drainage holes in these cups. And the easiest way to do this is with a drill. Always wear safety gloves when doing this. I'm drilling five small holes at the bottom of the cups. Don't put too much pressure when drilling. Nice and steady, four cups at a time works best. All right, so I have my cups ready. Now the best way to get the tomatoes out of the cells is to turn the cell pack on its side and gently squeeze the cell to loosen the soil around it. Holding the tomato at the base, slowly pull it out. Now that's a nice root system right here. Gently loosen the bottom roots. Earlier I said that um, tomatoes are the most forgiving plant when it comes to legginess. Well, it's because of these. As you see here, the tomato has tiny hair all over its vine. When soil touches any part of the main stem, the tomato plant will put out roots. So when up potting them, you want to fill the soil up to the first leaves. Gently press the tomato into the cup so there's contact with new soil. I will let the tomatoes grow for a week in these solo cups until I have my grow bags ready and then I will remove the first leaves and plant the tomato deep again up to its true leaves. At that point I will add calcium at the base of the plant so it doesn't develop blossom and rot and same goes with pepper plants. Did you know that peppers and tomatoes are from the same vegetable family? They are called nightshades. That also includes potatoes and eggplant. Here I have tomatoes that are growing in clumps. So all you have to do is gently press around the root ball to loosen up the roots. Very gently pry them apart without hearing too much of the roots tearing. And that's how easy it is. Plant them up to their first leaves and they will grow strong and healthy. One more important thing is to transplant your seedlings on an overcast day. And don't forget to acclimate them to the sun slowly so that their leaves don't burn. And the easiest way to do so is to place your seedlings in the shade at first. 
for at least a few days and then gradually expose them to direct sun for a few hours each day for one week. So what is tomato blossom end rot? It's when the bottom of the tomato starts rotting. Now two things cause tomato blossom end rot. One is uneven watering and two is a lack of calcium in the soil. Even if you have enough calcium in the soil, if you don't water when it's hot outside and you let your tomatoes dry out and the watering is inconsistent, the tomato will not be able to absorb the calcium and carry it up to the fruit. Whenever I transplanted my tomatoes, I would always put eggshells at the base of the tomato. However, tomato roots cannot absorb um, the calcium from the eggshells right away. It has to be decomposed um, before the plant can absorb it. I do have a pet tortoise. It's a sulcata tortoise and it needs calcium to produce a nice shell. And last year I used the repticalcium. It's a calcium carbonate with D3. Um, calcium with added vitamin D helps us absorb um, the calcium better. Um, so the same works with plants. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something new. And if you did, give it, this video a thumbs up. Much appreciated. Until next time, my gardening friends.